Hi, kindergarten. Welcome to Bible time. We're going to uh, be reading about the Garden of Gethsemane today. Jesus led his disciples to the foot of the Mount of Olives, where there was an olive garden, and it was called the Garden of Gethsemane. He said to his disciples, stay here while I go pray. He took Peter, James, and John along with him. Then Jesus was terribly distressed. He said to them, I'm deeply troubled in my soul. My heart is so sad and it is broken with grief. Be with me while I pray. Then Jesus went forward a little way, threw himself on the ground and began to pray. My father, if it is possible, do not let this horrible thing happen to me. Jesus prayed long and hard, but it was late and his disciples were tired and they fell asleep. Jesus came back to them and said, Could you not watch and pray with me for one hour at this time? Keep watching and praying with me. The time of testing is coming. Your spirits are willing, but your bodies are weak. Then Jesus went back to pray again in the same way. Father, if this is what I have to do, I will do it. Your will be done. Going to his disciples, he had found that he had been praying alone and that they had fallen asleep again. Jesus went back a third time. So earnest and terrible was his praying that great drops of sweat were falling from him like blood. Then an angel appeared, strengthening him in his hour of need. Jesus went to his disciples who were asleep again. Are you still sleeping? Get up, we need to go. The one who has betrayed me into the hands of the sinners is here. A crowd of soldiers and others with swords and sticks appeared, carrying lanterns led by Judas. He had told him that the one whom he would kiss was the one to be seized and taken away. Judas said, Rabbi, Rabbi means teacher, and went up to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek. Jesus said, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? Then the disciples attempted to defend their master, and Peter struck the servant of the high priest with his sword and cut off his ear. No more of this, Jesus commanded his disciples. Put your swords away. If I want protection, I can ask my father, and he will send me armies of angels to look after me. Then he restored the man's ear to its place again. Jesus was protecting people who were trying to hurt him. Jesus is so awesome. His disciples all ran off to escape for their lives, but Jesus allowed the officers to tie him up and take him away as a prisoner. They brought him in the night to the palace of the high priest. There the scribes and elders were gathered together to try him. Inside, the priests were faced with a problem. They did not know what crime they should charge Jesus with. He had done nothing wrong. They asked him questions about his teachings. Jesus answered, Why are you questioning me? I have taught nothing in secret. Every, everyone knows what I preach in the synagogues. What have I done wrong? What wrongs have I spoken? One of the officers hit Jesus because he was not answering the high priest as he wanted. Then they called different people to say what Jesus had taught unlawfully, but none of the witnesses could agree together. They all said different things, and the priests could not find any reasons to put Jesus to death. At last, the high priest asked Jesus an oath. Tell us, are you the Christ, the Son of God? Jesus said, you are saying so, and I will tell you that you are going to see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of God and coming in the clouds of heaven. The high priest was enraged. He tore his robe and said, Did you hear that? He deserves to die. Then they spat in his face and slapped him and beat him with their fists. It was still nighttime. Peter was outside when one of the servant girls noticed him. You are with Jesus of Galilee, she said. I don't know what you're talking about, Peter replied. Then another servant girl said, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. No, I was not, Peter said again. I do not even know that man. A third person came up to Peter and said, Surely you're one of them. I know by the way you speak. Peter began to curse and swear, I do not know this man. I am not one of his disciples. Jesus then, I'm sorry guys, just then the Lord turned and looked at Peter 
and the cock began to crow. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said to them. He got up, went away, crying bitterly. He had denied his Lord.